I'm going to show you why this Grand Design trailer is a perfect couples camper. I'm going to show you the pros, the cons, and the upgrades we've done. And here we go. First of all, it tows very well. We do have a equalizer four point hitch. It's both a stabilizer and an anti-sway. We've had no problems. I've never felt unsafe on the road. It drives down the highway good and it, and it works. It does have a couple recliners. The recliners, for the most part, are good. Well, actually, the recliners are good. Some electronics kind of leave a little bit to be desired, but we'll get to those on the con list. The AC. We've camped when it's 95 degrees out and we've been in the sun and the RV has been cool. Now, we have done a couple of enhancements to it. We did put in uh, vents that we can open and close so that we can close a couple vents out in the main part of the trailer and push a little more cool air back to the bedroom. Uh, that does help keep the bedroom cooler. Um, but, but all in all, it's very comfortable in 95 degrees and we were, we were not in the shade, we were in the sun. So if, if this can keep cool at 95 degrees in the Kansas sun, we, you, we've got it made. This RV has lots of storage space, lots of drawer space, lots of cabinet space, um, doors that open up to store bigger things in. Um, the one thing it, it is, lack, is lacking would be a pantry, and we'll get to that later in the cons. But there is lots of storage space in the kitchen, in the bathroom, and in the bedroom. It does have a gas quick connect and uh, for the outside, and we hook up to our Blackstone, and we cook outside all the time with our Blackstone, and we just we don't even think have any second thoughts about doing that. Uh, and it we we can cook. We've cooked pizza on it. We have we've made omelets, smash burgers, steaks, uh, fried rice, fried vegetables with with steaks. It just and so we love the Blackstone. We do have a slide, and it has a Swintec slide system. So far, that has been rock solid. We have not had any problems. I've noticed other people in the industry have had problems with those, but knock on wood, knock on wood, we haven't had any problems with them. But you never know. We have a shower door, and the shower door is one of those self-squeegee doors. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was a little bit skeptical when we first got it. But you know what? It's worked, and it's worked very well. Um, squeegee self-cleaning, so it's one more, one less thing to, keep, to clean on the camper. It does have a 12-volt refrigerator, and it works. Works good. Got to get it set up right. Um, we do have a little uh, battery-operated fan that we put in it, um, just to circulate the air, because sometimes uh, if we get it too full or not full enough, again, it can't. I can't remember the magic formula, but sometimes we do get some stuff that will freeze inside the refrigerator side. But if you put that little fan in there, it takes care of all the problems. But it, 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 does, it does keep everything cool or cold. We're going to talk about some modification, upgrades, and hacks that we've done to our uh, RV. First of all, we added some solid steps on the rear door of the coach. And that's more of a safety thing. Me and my wife are both in our mid-60s. Um, and it's, it's nice to have a solid step when we get in and out of the, of the coach. It, it's just a safety issue. We did add a touch pad lock. Um, now we don't have to worry about, did you bring the key? Did we forget the key? Did we, you know, we just hit the number and we pop right in. My dog's barking at something. Um, so anyway, touch pad lock, I would definitely recommend. We also added pull-out shelvings to our little, uh, like, half pantry. I mean, it's really not even a pantry, it's more of a door with a couple shelves. But those slide out shelves have been a game changer. Um, I would definitely recommend that, especially on a smaller coach, because uh, we can pull out everything and, and see what's going on and, and get whatever we need. And, and it's, it's, been, it's been a game changer. We did add some wire shelvings in the upper cabinets in the kitchen and to the vanity in the bathroom. Um, this just doubles our storage space. They're lightweight. They're easy to install. They're backup camera. Uh, the nice, I tell you, we use that more driving down the highway to see who's behind us than we do when we're, I mean, we do use it when we're backing in, but we use it a lot going down the, going down the highway to see what's going on behind us. We did add a trailer receiver on the back bumper. 
Um, we also had to reinforce the bumper because this Grand Design unit is, does not have a very healthy sized weight for the bumper. So we did reinforce the bumper. We like to carry our electric bikes with us. And I'll tell you what, those electric bikes have really been a game changer for us. Uh, it allows us to get around the campground. We don't have to fire up the truck and go anywhere. Uh, we, we can go to the trash. Sometimes we even go to the store if, if, it, if it's within reasonable distance. And the electric bikes, they're the game changer again. We did add a couple guides for our sliding doors and shame on Grand Design for not installing those. It, you know, every once in a while you, you think, why didn't they spend the four bucks or two bucks, probably the, the way they'd buy them, they'd probably been 50 cents, and install a couple guides on the floor. Those doors would come off all the time during travel, and this seemed to solve the problem. Um, so shame on Grand Design. You need to, you need to install those on a go-forward basis. We do have an electric heater. And um, the main reason we use it is to save a little bit on money. We don't have to use propane to run the furnace. And we let the uh, camp host uh, pay for the electricity and heat the, heat the unit. Can't complain about that. It does have, our unit does not have floor vents. And I find that to be a real plus. No dust, debris, and whatever doesn't fall down inside those vents. And we have to clean them out. Now that we've seen other people with floor vents and we see all the dust and debris and dirt that gets inside there where we do appreciate the, the furnace vents being on the side of the cabinets. We did purchase a tabletop ice maker and that's one purchase we will never regret. We always have fresh ice and clean ice and we don't have to forget about filling up the ice trays. Uh, and when our grandson comes with us, you know, I, I think he spills more ice than he then it cools his drinks down with. But anyway, the one nice thing about this unit is we got a bedroom and a middle uh, bath or a walkthrough bath. And so what that allows us to do is one person can go into the bedroom, we can close the door to the bedroom, then we can close the door to the um, bathroom between the bathroom and the main part of the coach. And then we have two separate areas. One person can watch TV, the other person can sit back there and read a book or Look, watch on their iPad or do whatever, but you have two separate quiet places. That's something we didn't really realize until we got the unit and got out there and one rainy day, uh, my wife was in there reading a book and I was out here watching TV. We had both doors closed. And Okay, let's talk about the pros. We've been camping from 30 degrees to 95 degrees and this camper has kept us comfortable. No complaints. It also is an awesome tow especially with that equalizer hitch. Um, I, I've been very comfortable. My wife's been very comfortable. We have no issues pulling this size camper with our truck. The uh, rear kitchen with lots of counter space has, making, has made cooking and cooking preparation a real pleasure. Other units we've seen don't have much space and you're all cramped. My wife can spread out and, and, and prepare food as she needs and cook as she needs. When traveling, since we have the two doors, that allows us to get in and use the bathroom rather than using the restrooms at the rest stop or the truck stop or whatever stop. And you know, it's just kind of nice knowing that you got a nice clean bathroom to go in and use. Uh, so the two doors have been a big, a big bonus there. The, the second thing that the doors do is if Somebody's in here watching TV or doing something. You can sneak in the, the bedroom door and either lay down or use the bathroom and go out and not interrupt anybody that's in the, in the main part of the coach watching TV. When our slide is closed, we do have access to the bathroom and we have access to the refrigerator, which makes it nice. We do not have access to the microwave, the cooktop, or the stove. That'd be the only drawbacks. But Hey, it works. We're not complaining. Cons. This, is, this, this was a tough list because some of the cons, we knew it when we bought it. And, and we, we, we shouldn't complain about the, the fact that we knew this when we bought it. The bedroom. It's hard to get around in the bedroom. The, the sides of the bed are so narrow. Uh, but we knew that when we bought it. But it, it is tough to make the bed. We do use a beddy. That, that has helped out a little bit, but it, there's still not much room to get around that bed. The dinette table, what I'm on, it's not rock solid sturdy. It's usable, just a little wobbly. 
Um, and, and Grand Design, uh, you need to come up with a, a better, need to come up with a way to make a secure table in something this size. The shower faucet sucks. And that's, that's the good part of it. The shower faucet will not maintain the constant temperature. It goes from hot to cold. And it goes to almost burning to too cold. And got fed up with it. So I bought a 4 inch thermoplastic RV shower faucet valve. It's one of the most amazing upgrades we've done in this trailer. You turn that thing on, it does not, it, it goes to 102 degrees temperature and it works. You don't have to worry about if it's hot or cold. You just take a shower. My grandson can do it, my wife can do it, and I can do it, and we don't have to worry about it. We probably save, we save water in the long run. The touch controls on the recliner are too sensitive. There, you can turn the vibrator on, on the seats, which it's nice when you want them, but when you're sitting here thinking, what's that, what's that white noise in the background? You got the vibrator going. You didn't even know they were on. You got the light. The dogs sometimes turn the lights on in the middle of the night. Now we got blue lights shining down on the, the floor. They just, they're just too sensitive. And they're, they're need, they either need to, well, I don't know what they need to do. I don't know if they need to make a cover so you can't turn them on. Or, I mean, they're nice to have, but they're just too, very, very much too sensitive. No food pantry. It would be nice to have a pantry. A lot of, even a lot of the small trailers now have a pantry. Um, it would just be awesome if we had one. There's lots of storage space. Not complain about the storage space. Complain about the lack of a pantry. The other one, a trash can. There is no good place to put a trash can. And I don't care where you go camping, you're going to have trash. So you gotta, you either gotta walk around it. You have to stumble around it. It's got to be out of the way. And if it's out of the way, you're not going to use it. And shame on Grand Design. Next, when you design your trailers, you need to come up with a good rock solid place to put a reasonably, si reasonably sized trash can in your units. The other thing about it is these frosted glass on the window, on the doors. The frosted glass is just not good. In the bedroom, it... In the morning, it makes the bedroom bright. I like to sleep when it's dark. I like to go to bed when it's dark. I like to get up when it's dark with that frosted glass. If there's any type of light, it lights up that whole bedroom. And in the, uh, the uh, one by the kitchen, you can't look out and see if anybody's at the door. And, and, and it, it's kind of good. No, it's, it's, it's really kind of bad. They, they need to have an option or, or just raise the price 25 bucks, 50 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever it costs and put in one that has a shade and clear glass so you can open up the shade, look out, see who's there and close the shade so it's dark. Pretty simple. I think, I think, it'd be, I think everybody would be willing to pay just a little bit of money for those. Our final thoughts. This is truly a couple's camper. It's very, very comfortable for two people. We really love this trailer. If you're looking for a travel trailer for a couple, no kids, no kids, because it only really sleeps two, and there's no bunk bed, so it's not for a family, um, this fits the bill for a couple's camper. It's not a family camper. It's not a bunkhouse. It's just a couple's camper. It's also, it's very roomy without spending a lot of money, like you like on a fifth wheel or a motor home, you get, you can get two separate quiet areas. You have plenty of room to cook. You have the, the recliners are in the right place to watch TV. We have no complaints about that. It's in a very affordable, well-designed couples trailer. So I think we're going to end it there. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. And if you uh, want to see more videos like this, well, hey, would you please subscribe? And uh, until we meet around the campfire, y'all take care now.